Hi, this is Mr. Coom. Let's do another uh, gastoichiometry problem. Pause this video so you can actually read the question and let's do this. Uh, let's solve this problem. All right, here you've already been given a reaction. So co um, copper oxide uh, is reacted with hydrogen gas to produce solid copper and water vapor. Okay. So first off, how many moles of H2 react? So in order to figure out how many moles of H2, you're going to need Avogadro's law. And Avogadro's law is the number of moles of any gas is its volume divided by 22.71 liters. So in this particular instance, the number of moles of our hydrogen gas is going to be 5.6 liters divided by 22.71 liters. It is going to be 22 or 0 0.247, 0 0.247 liters. Now I'll put it to 2.23 decimal places because in ATAR chemistry, most of the exams and most of the actual working out will ask you to put it into three decimal places. So to three significant figures, sorry, three significant figures. So um, it's going to be 0.247, oops, I apologize, not liters, 0.247 moles. Sorry about that, 0.247 moles, because we're finding out N, the number of moles. So that's how many moles, how many moles of copper produced? So here, um, number of moles of copper will just be, uh, follow the molar ratio. So the number of moles of copper, according to our molar ratio, equals the number of moles of hydrogen. So therefore, the number of moles of copper is going to be 0 0.247 mole. And in order to find out the mass of our copper, we just multiply the number of moles of copper by the molar mass of copper, which is 0 0.247 moles, multiplied by 63.55 grams for every mole. And that will equal the ground total of 15.7 grams to three significant uh, significant figures. So there it is, solved.